Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today we are going to be talking about Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. In fact, I will be ranking all of the palettes that I own from my least favorite to my favorite Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. And I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen here. So I definitely don't have the full collection. I mainly focus on the colorful palettes that they do. I don't really go for their neutrals because I'm quite fair skinned and I feel that those don't really go. So let me first talk about what's actually on my eyes today, and that is the Juvia's Place, the Violets. So this is the palette that I'm currently wearing on my eyes. I just did a quick like my rendition of a halo eye. Um, and I used all six shades in this look today. Um, I think that for a lot of these palettes, I already have reviews up either here on my uh, YouTube channel or on my blog, so I'll make sure to link you to as many of those down below in the description box so that if you wanna see swatches or makeup looks that I've done with these different palettes, then uh, you can see that. Uh, so let me get to the ranking. So starting at the bottom, at number 13, I have the Warrior palette for you. This is one of the more recent palettes that I tried by Juvia's Place, and it's their more updated version of a rainbow palette compared to their Zulu palette, which I also have, which you will see coming up in a minute. Uh, but this is a really lovely palette. I cannot really fault it in terms of the quality of the shadows. This is a really nice quality palette, I have to say, but all of my Juvia's Place palettes have really good quality. What I don't really like about this palette is the color story and the difference, uh, like the, the, the ratio between mattes and shimmers that you get in here. This is a mostly matte palette and I just love a good shimmer, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And Juvia's Place it has really, really great, phenomenal shimmer formula. It's probably the thing they do best. So I prefer their shimmers over their mattes to begin with, and you only get two of them. And then we also get to the color story element of why this is not my favorite, because I feel that these two shimmers don't go with all of the shades that you get in this palette. I feel that these two are a little bit too similar. So for me, it would have been better if this like orange toned red was not part of this palette, but that this would have been another shimmer that would have worked better with the green and the yellow, for instance, because I feel that like these five shades work really well, but then what are you gonna do with these four? Uh, unless you go for an all matte look, which is something I don't really do a lot. So for me, there has to be shimmer if I really truly wanna be able to use a palette and this just not give, uh, isn't giving me that. So this is one where I feel it's got a couple of really cool shades, like these two shimmers are really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie, they are super duper nice uh, shimmers for sure, but I don't feel that the palette as a whole is my favorite. Palette number 12 would be the Afrik palette by Juvia's. This is one that confuses a lot of people and I have to say I was able to make this work. Again, this has really nice quality, but it's just that blue background is sort of throwing you off with what kind of color story you actually get inside of this. It is quite neutral, but then you get a pop of blue, a pop of this like warm toned orange, a green, a yellowed, and then you get this really nice like purpley jewel tone and also this green shimmer is really stunning. So it's sort of like more on the jewel toned end of the spectrum and I do really like jewel tones. It's just that again, in this I would have liked to see more shimmers and also this blue and this green aren't the best when it comes to matte color colorful shades, I have to say. So that's why the Afrique palette by Juvia's is also not one of my faves. Palette number 11 would be this, the Masquerade palette, and I still have the big one because I got this quite early on. They now only do this in a mini, I believe, and I really like the concept of this. It's got a two rows of colorful shades and then two rows of neutrals, but these neutrals are quite warm toned, which is not my favorite thing, and then a lot of these shimmers are quite cool toned. So for me, it's just not perfect in terms of like how everything works together. Like all I would do with this is like a warm neutral eye and like a pop of blue on the lower lash line. And as you'll see, I have another Juvia's Place palette that I love for that a million times better than this one. So this again has really nice quality. It's just the color story on this one. I don't really like it. However, it does have a couple of really stunning shimmering shades like this entire top row and also this purple, they are so, so pretty. The only shade in here that I don't really get is Zola, which is like a pink with gold, like looser sparkles. But 
everything else in this palette is really nice. I was able to make this work. It's just not my favorite Juvia's Place palette. Now we're getting more into stuff that I actually like and palette number 10 would be the Nubian 2 by Juvia's. I never really got the Nubian 1 because it was so neutral. And this is also quite neutral, but it's got some stunning, stunning jewel tones. You can also see perhaps that I've used this a little bit more. You get this green shade, this blue shade. Uh, I like this uh, this purpley shade over here as well. I was like, there's a purple somewhere. And I do feel that this works quite well. You get three mattes, four mattes, and everything else is shimmer, so I prefer it because of that. It just has a much better matte to shimmer ratio that I prefer. I'm not going to say that everybody's going to like it because I know that most people prefer mattes, but... I love more shimmers than mattes in my palettes to begin with. The only shade in here like that I really wouldn't really reach for is this warm tone over here and possibly that gold. I'm not a big fan of golds and like these like orangey brownish shades, um, but I can appreciate a good like coppery bronze and also this like champagne gold is really nice too. Uh, and I think that Zori is a nice one if you also want to use it as a face highlight. So. Again, I, I do like this palette, I just don't get a lot of use out of it because I feel I have other palettes in my makeup collection that I feel can do something diff uh, similarly to this one, so I don't feel this is very unique in my collection. On the number nine spot, we get the Saharan palette by Juvia's. I am not a huge fan of warm tones, but this palette is... If I have to go warm tones, I want this. And I've said that before, I do really like this matte orange shade here called Sokoto. It's got a couple of really nice like coppers and cranberries in here too. So I don't see myself decluttering this anytime soon um, because it just has a couple of really nice shades. And I love how this Kia shade is like a greenish gray. I think that's a very unique shade as well. I would have preferred though if Iman wasn't this white, but would have been perhaps a little bit more champagne than I would have felt it would have gone better with everything else that's going on in here. Again, only four mattes, everything else is shimmer. So that's why I prefer this over some of the other ones we just talked about. Number eight would be a much more unique color story. It's the Festival palette, but precisely because it's so unique, I'm always a little bit stumped what to do with this. I have to say though that when I use this, I was able to pull some stunning looks out of this, but this is not the first palette I reach for when I go like, oh, I want to do a colorful makeup look. This is not the one. However, it has some really unique shades. This white shimmer is really nice. I really appreciate this blue in here as well. On me, these two shades worked really well as like neutrally crease shades to really get the look going. And then these three mattes were a little bit more neon. I'm of course pretty pale, um, so especially this orange shade just really popped and then contrasting it with that blue made for some really really stunning looks It's just not the first palette I reach for but this definitely has a place in my makeup collection because it does Have that very unique color story that I think is just really really cool Then the Zulu palette would be in my number seven spot This is their first rainbow palette and this I always appreciate it because it is a rainbow palette, but then you get two neutrals in here. So if you're a bit scared of these really bright colors, then I think that this can be a really nice affordable option to sort of dip your toe into a very colorful makeup look. Um, this purple I really like. I really like this like aqua shade. Um, these two greens are really nice too. And where the warrior doesn't have a shimmer that goes either with the more cool tones or with the more warm tones. I feel this does have that, so that's why it's ranked a little bit higher. I just think there are other better rainbow palettes on the market, and that's why this is not no longer like my favorite colorful palette, but I feel that this does have merit and it has a good, good enough color story that if you want to try brights and you don't want them to be too expensive, this is a really nice one. Palette number six, this gets the number six spot because I feel it is quite unique as well, and that would be the Deuce. And the Deuce is a, like, soft, well, that's why it's called the Deuce, because Deuce is French for soft. Um, this has very soft colors. If you're fair-skinned like me, and you like cooler tones, because it has mainly cool tones, this is going to be stunning. I think the only true warm tone you get in here is this neutral, but it's really nice in the crease. Um, it's got... This duochrome shimmer, which is really nice, but where it's at for me in terms of shimmer is this gray tone over here. I think this is lovely. This 
looks like a lavender, like purpley kind of shade, but it pulls more pink on the eye. And that is perhaps something to bear in mind because it, it pulls a bit more Barbie pink, which you may not expect from looking at it in the pan. You get a really nice dark brown to deepen things up. This shade is a really nice transition as well. So I feel that this is a palette that works really well for me if you want to go for softer, neutrally looks but with a twist. Time for the top five and in the number five spot I would place the Saharan palette not the Saharan, but the Saharan 2. Um, and this is again very warm toned, so for me to put this in such a high position might surprise you, but this is again more shimmers than mattes. Can we see a trend? Can we see a trend? But the mattes you get in here are some of the best mattes that Juvia's Place has ever done. Yes, they are very warm toned, but this like cranberry, sort of like reddish shade, it's so, so stunning and it contrasts so well with this like aqua and minty shade that you get in here. You get a really nice like cranberry shade. This peach is really nice. This is like a white gold kind of shade and then a bronze. So for all of your, like if you're looking, if you're still not satisfied with like warm tone neutrals with a pop of blue, then I feel that this is one of the best palettes on the market to deliver that. That's what I use this for, especially with like this in the crease and then something like this on all over the lid and then that blue in the on the lower lash line with this in the inner corner I think is super duper stunning. Yes, this is a bit of a one trick pony for me, but I do really like the quality. I think this is some of the best quality that Juvia's Place has done. And then we get what, we, what I'm wearing on my eyes today. On the number four spot, I've put the Violets palette. This is my newest Juvia's Place palette. I only just got this in like two or three weeks ago. And this is the first time I used it and I really, really liked it. Out of these four smaller mini palettes, I only picked up the Violets. I'm still umming and ahhing about the berries, but I have so many other berries in my collection that I feel I don't need it. And the nudes and the chocolates look nice, but I was like, I have so many brown tones as well that I don't need that. But this I felt was something a bit more unique. Again, we get more shimmers than we get mattes. And for a lot of people, that was a bit of a gripe when they first tried this palette. I put this one in the crease today. This is on the lower lash line. That's on the lower lash line. This I used to create a bit of a halo, and that is what's in my inner corner. I had no issues working with these. These are really lovely quality. I have to say that the shimmers in this are a little bit more stiff than what I'm used to with Juvia's Place. So uh, with a finger, you definitely need to pack these on to get the impact that you would like to get. But these are really lovely little shades. And yeah, I like that it's very curated and it's nice purples. Very often purples can be quite warm toned or they can be quite pink, but I feel that these are true royal purples. So good job to Juvia's Place for doing that. Number three would be the Nomad palette. And this is a palette that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but Guys, if you like grungy, mustardy greens, then this is just your kind of palette. This is quite neutral, but it does have, uh, and it only has two shimmers, but this, I don't know, just magic happens. If you like something like the Melt Gemini or ABH Subculture, but you think those palettes are too expensive or hard to get or a bit controversial, then I feel that this palette can give you similar vibes, especially for thinking like Melt Gemini. I think that this palette just works really well if you're looking for that grungy green mustard yellow kind of vibe. These two cockies work so well and then this like baby poop color, if you put that in the crease, magic happens. I swear. Uh, this yellow has glitter in it, which is not my favorite, but if you just put this in the crease, the glitter disappears, and these two shades together in the crease are really lovely, and then you get three very neutrally shades to really tie a look together. So that's why this is in the top three. This was also a surprise to me, and I feel more people should be talking about the Nomad. Did you guess? Can you guess which one is my 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 number two, my number one. I think you can because I've talked about these palettes a lot in the past. So if you've been following me, you might see this one coming. Maybe you would have expected this in the number one spot, but no, I've decided that there's a different palette in my number one spot. Number two would be the magic. And the magic is just, in terms of color story, this is just it. Two rows of warm tones with also more neutral shades and two rows of cool tones and especially 
like these two blues and then these two purples so so stunning i really like these this is like more of like a teal shimmer which we all know how i feel about teal i love these two greens for me i definitely go more into the cool tone part of this palette than in the warm tones i don't like how you get like two quite similar pinks this gold is very yellow tone, so it's not my favorite, but I do appreciate these two mattes over here. I like this red shade too. I like a red tone matte. And then this uh, Boronu shade is really pretty too. Um, I don't really feel that it really mixes and matches all that well, but this can work with both, with all of these shades as a like matte shade in the crease. This is a great bone color transition shade. Yes, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I just wish I had waited until they did the minis and not have this big one because now I find it a bit cumbersome to reach for uh, because this is quite big. Uh, it's like the size of my head. So I, I think I'm still umming and ahhing whether at some point in time I want to update to the mini version of this because I think it would be better. And then my number one dubious place palette. Did you guess it? Yes, the Tri palette. I did a three looks one palette with this, which I rarely ever do. But yeah, this is just one of, not just one of my favorite dubious place palettes. This is definitely in my top 10, top 15 eyeshadow palettes of all time. And that's because it, this is just, this is the, the color story of my dreams. Um, is it? Yes, it is. I'm not a big fan of those two oranges that you get, but everything else in here is just lovely. I love this like teal shade. A lot of people call this a green, but it definitely has a bit more blue to it. So for me, this is a teal shimmer. So nice, especially paired with this. These two shades are great as like transition shades. Another baby poop brown color, but where the one in the Nomad is perhaps a bit more yellow toned, this is a bit more green toned, which is why it goes with everything that you have going on. I feel that if you make a look with the oranges uh, in there, then you get something that's a lot, a lot more warm toned. Um, but these two shimmers is where it's at for me. Again, this looks like a boring bronze. It's not. It's got a green flip. And this um, champagne shade also has a green flip to it. So for me, it just really, really works. I love how this sort of comes together when you make makeup looks. It's so effortless. It's still colorful. Um, but you can make a neutral look with this if you would like to. It's just not something that I go for. Like, I always go with those greens that's... Like, those greens and teals that are in here are just lovely. It's an amazing palette. So, yeah. Those are all of my Juvia's Place palettes and how I would rank them. So, let me know in a comment down below how you would rank your Juvia's Place palettes. I would love to know. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have more eyeshadow palette related comment, uh, co content coming your way in the month of August because I am currently only talking about eyeshadow palettes. I'm doing an extra video on Saturdays and I'm going to end of the month with of course my eyeshadow palette collection. So if you'd like to stay tuned then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!